Hello and welcome, and it's been a while, uh, as you're well aware, the current series, the Series 10 Thailand Adventure, is coming to an end in the next week or two. There's only about well, four or five episodes left in the series. Obviously, if you are a uh, Patreon or a member, then you've already watched these. These are available for you to watch immediately. And uh, if you're a member, then you get free access to that. So please consider supporting me on Patreon or on YouTube membership. And of course, you can also do PayPal uh, if you want to donate any uh, help to me to run this channel. Then that would be very much appreciated. As um, this series comes to an end, you'll be waiting for series 11, which obviously happened this year in uh, April, May uh, this year, 2023, and uh, that was series 11. That's um, being edited at, as I speak at the moment. There's lots of work to be done, as you well know. The uh, process of editing the uh, X3, the Insta360 X3 video has to be done basically in two stages. You have to edit the video first and then put it into a... Um, program and I use Olive and then you'll see then from there you make your video uh, which you can then upload to YouTube. All in all I think it's quite a long-winded process and uh, obviously the software that we have to use does not really help much because um, it's not inbuilt into uh, into it. You have to actually use more than one program to be able to create a episode and of course that takes time. If you imagine that you have a file which is 30 minutes long, it will take you, well, minimum 30 minutes. Uh, obviously, it will take longer because you have to edit the actual video uh, with the 360 software. And then, of course, you have more time because then you have to put it into the actual application Olive. And, of course, that, that will take a very amount of time. You know, if you're talking about a 40-minute uh, uh, video, it could take you uh, an hour and a half because of you, you have to um, consider uh, time for rendering. And in Olive, it's not too bad. It's only like 20 or 30 minutes. But in uh, Vegas, that I used before, uh, it was a lot longer. And of course, in the meantime, we have other videos to put out, including this one, which is applying for a tourist visa. So stick around after the uh, intro, and we'll give you a quick tour of how to apply for a tourist visa. Okay, don't right. So, tourist visa. Yes. Who is that applied to? Well, anybody uh, that does not have a a visa waiver. So, a visa waiver scheme where there's certain countries around the world that have an agreement with Thailand, and of course, you can enter the, the country on a stamp. Basically, you get it from immigration. They stamp your passport with a 30-day, that is for the UK. Uh, there are other countries that only have 15, but we have 30. Uh, I'm talking specifically about the UK because that is where I live. And, of course, it gives you 30 days in country. And that includes, obviously, landing, uh, the time that you land and the time that you leave. You have to bear that in mind because it could it could make you overstay. Important to note, you do not want to overstay. It's not a good thing, especially if you want to come back, uh, if you do it regularly. Uh, you are only allowed two of those visas, as a visa waiver. You're only allowed two a year. Uh, you can extend it while you're in the country for another 30 days, but that will cost you around about 2,000 baht or thereabouts. So you work it out yourself. Um, you can pay that for 2,000 baht, which probably is slightly more than you would do if you were going to go for a, a proper visa for 60 days. Uh, during the, um, the uh, last few years, they've had this uh, agreement that you could have 45 days instead of 30 on the visa waiver. Uh, basically, that ended in March this year. And it went back to 30 days. So 30 days maximum without any sort of intervention. 
there's no extension or anything like that. Now the best way to do this is obviously to do it before you go and applying for a tourist visa you can stay up to 60 days and then of course you can extend that when you're in country. I don't know how much that would be but it's probably going to be very similar and you would do that at the immigration office in your local immigration office so if you're in Patia it would probably be uh, somewhere there or there is one in um, John Tiem I believe uh, so you can go there uh, but if you're in elsewhere in the country then you will have to find your own tourist uh, uh, immigration office uh, and um, in Konken I think it has moved to another location I know where it was but it's, I don't know where it is now so all of that is a hassle and of course then you have to spend time doing it and paying the money I mean 2,000 baht doesn't sound like a lot of money but comparably if you buy it now from the UK it will cost you 30 quid the visa is for um, tourist applications however you can use it for visiting family now I've had a lot of issues with this because the link that I had on the official website did not work. So I've had to email the uh, consulate and it took them uh, 16 days and uh, one reminder to um, send me a response. They're not very quick. And of course they said, um, we can't find your application. Well, I haven't made one yet because I can't get on there. So clearly they don't read uh, your email and I have sent back there saying please read my email I've told you that I cannot get on please provide the actual document which the document itself is not available on the website it comes up with a uh, message saying not found so clearly the website needs some work but the uh, official e-visa official website they sent me the link to that which was exactly the same as the link that I clicked yet this one this one worked so I don't know why I've no idea why let's have a look at the actual uh, website <coughs> so first of all you need to do is create an account it will not let you do anything with making a visa until you create the account now I have created an account uh, unfortunately every time you come in you have to put in a code uh, in order to get in this is like second level and en second entry um, security oh by the way these are um, caps uh, apply apply so caps lock apply applicable so the Q is a lowercase and the six and sometimes it's quite hard to see what the um, actual thing is says so once you've gone in there, now you will see that I have um, I have done a application, and it is waiting for validation. The visa dashboard. Apply for a new visa. Now these um, steps, the four steps here. When you get to step four, that is the one where you need documentation, um, and it is quite important that you get all this. Um, prepared because it will take you some time but luckily for us we can save the position that we're in as we go so you won't lose any information it, so it asks you where you live and where the whole where you actually coming from and they they are one and the same um, but you can actually select the country that you are, are from your document here is, here's the example. So that travel document holder of the UK and residence of the UK. So basically you could well have a passport from another country. So you could be dual passport um, and that is what it's trying to say I presume. So this is going to go to the uh, Thai Embassy in London. Uh, what passport type do you have? Well it's probably going to be an ordinary passport and then you can select the type of uh, visa that you'd like to have now most of you will have tourist leisure now I did the uh, I did the visiting or staying with family which requires you to have um, 
lots of other proof. Uh, so proof that you had family, proof that you have somewhere to stay. You have to you have to bear in mind that you're going to have to all have all these documents ready in uh, JPEG, uh, JPG format. They they do not like uh, PNG, so you have to convert them, and also they have to be below three megabytes in size, which is quite difficult. But there are software um, applications out there that you can do it, and it will compress the um, graphics. So let's do the tourist one, uh, tourist visa, and then this is the most important part because if you select a single, then obviously that will give you one chance to go into Thailand and obviously that is £30 um, it has to be used within three months so don't apply for this too quickly you also probably have to have the um, the flight details that you're going to be going on which I obviously have because I booked it already um, if you go for the multiple entry you have to provide evidence of banking your uh, sufficient money and we'll come on to that in a moment so you know and also it will allow you to enter Thailand uh, several times within a six-month period if you're not going to be going and coming coming and going in that time it's probably cheaper and easier just to have a single entry and not to worry about it. I did have one, I did apply for a multiple um, a few years ago and I never used it and it cost me over £100 to apply for that and of course I had to provide details on my banking as well to show that I had sufficient funds to last me for a period of time that I was going to be there. So uh, I would recommend single entry. Uh, obviously this is for people that are going to go once okay let's go on okay now so two important things is uh, uploading your uh, bio data pass page of your travel document that you need to uh, obviously your passport then that will go in there uh, drag and drop as it says there it is uh, jpg or jpeg uh, with three three megabytes or less so you can scan it in it's not a problem and uh, the other part of that is uploading a photo of yourself this is one of those official uh, passport photos that you can buy just scan it in on your scanner and basically if we do that uh, let me just find because it won't let me go on unless I do this so let me just uh, find the relevant document Right, um, so bio data we have. So I can drop into that, and then my my photo. Okay, so under uh, stage three of the um, process, you have to put in your uh, uh, rival. So we will put in the date for the 1st and the September so that's going to be October uh, how many days uh, do let's do that end of the month so that's 42 days you could put in there uh, your actual obviously uh, this isn't real so I haven't put in the the proper dates but you could put in whatever and it gives you the idea that you know obviously if you're um visa waiver then it's 30 days and obviously this is 42 uh where you're coming in so it's uh an airport uh, if you come in by land it's going to be less time if you're in certain countries uh it's a scheduled flight i'm going to do uh, a flight number that i know have you ever visited Thailand? Yes. Have you applied for a visa? Yes, I have. And are you a part of the toll group? No. Uh, here it's quite important that you get this right because you will have to put in your um, your details. So if you're in a hotel, that's no problem because 
you will be able to uh, put in that. If you're in your own house, it's a private property, then you have to put in the actual address uh, of the actual property where you're going to be. And it's all about uh, being able to track your location. And they used to do that with the TM30, which uh, you don't do that anymore. Um, so let's put in there. Um, look for the actual Chombury, because that's uh, basically, and I don't know what the postcode is because this old fictional. Um, and if you were, were going to stay in another place, if you were going to do a, a multiple location, then you could put in that into this box. Please note that these are compulsory, these asterisks, you ha cannot leave it blank. Okay, let's go next. And now we come on to item number four. And this is where we need to be um, putting in the evidence. So the bio data we have, uh, which we loaded earlier. And you can click on that to see what you have. That's the passport that I used. That's the photograph of me. The declaration... What you have to do is you have to download it first. You have to uh, print it out, sign it, and uh, date it, and then upload it, basically. So that's a um, bit of a pain in the bum. But luckily for me, I've done one. So we can upload that, drag and drop. The travel booking... Uh, is a copy of your ticket. This is your booking confirmation. So I should upload that. Obviously, if it was more than three meg, it would tell you. Cannot do it. Uh, proof of accommodation. So this is quite difficult if you are going to be in your own property. Because uh, I didn't have no idea what they, they wanted. So I put a photograph of me in my house. <laughs> That's the only way I can prove that I've got a house. <laughs> anyway, if you've got the um, the booking for the hotel, then you can put that in there. Here is your uh, compulsory, because uh, it's got a red uh, asterisk. This is your bank statements, proof of earnings or sponsorship letter, and uh, proving that you have money that you can... Uh, you know, obviously support yourself. Confid confirmation of legal residence. Now, this isn't really for people in the UK because we don't really have ID cards. So I don't know exactly what they wanted there. So I put my, my visa, my passport back in into that one as well. So there's my passport goes in there. If, uh, yeah, so again, this is like, um, asterisk so you really need to complete these these um, fields but you I don't really know what they're looking for with that because that's a confirmation letter from an employer a school or a pension statement so presumably it's financial and proving that you have a job of some sort or whatever so your identity of the person inviting you to stay and also quite difficult because, again, it's compulsory. I'm not sure how they would do that, but I can put in there the uh, ID card of my wife. And then, of course, this page here, which is your um, your passport uh, stamps. And um, <clears throat> I will just do that. And I can show you when that's loaded. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you can see that the, uh, the, the the last two pages here, so we've got 2019, um, 2022 and 2023. So this was the last trip in April, March, April time. Um, of course, what they'll do is they'll stamp again 
for the next trip. This is uh, also not sure what they want. Um, it's confirming their their uh, residency in the country that you live. Again, we don't really have that. So yeah, I put in my passport details because you have you cannot do it. You cannot not do it. Oh, hang on. Have I done that wrong? <laughs> oh no. Now I got this one's a weird one because this is uh, you. Let me just upload it and and then I can show you. Just upload that. So if I show you what that is, that's a photo of you holding your passport. <laughs> basically just to prove that you are in the person that's applying and of course that is it obviously if you filled in these other ones which I haven't um, then that is it that's the last thing that you do before you click down the bottom done it will tell you if there's an error so error, error, error. Of course, um, not going to let you not do it, which is a big problem if you don't have that information. From there, we are waiting. So it goes into the queue. You go into the next part of this, which is to pay, uh, and they require you to pay the fee uh, using your credit card. So you put that in. And then, of course, it says confirm. Uh, well, it, it would, if you create an account, it will ask you to confirm your account anyway. So once you've done all of that, then you can do this uh, application. But you are looking at having to wait now. Uh, so you take that. When you go to the immigration desk, you take that with your passport and the visa. Presumably, I presume it's a bit like the when you had the COVID pass. When they, when they had those, there was like a QR code. I presume it's going to be like that. I don't know. I've never seen one before because the last uh, the last visa I did was in my book. So they actually had to have your passport, uh, which they don't do anymore. They don't have to have your uh, passport or any of your documents. So they just um, do it all online now. But before, you had to send off your passport and of course they sent that back within a uh, I think it within within a week. If you want to go to Thailand more than more than twice, then you have to have a proper tourist visa. Plus, of course, if we want to get away from the hassle of having to renew it when you're there, then you can just do it now and do it for up to sixty days. That's it from me and this video. Hope you find it useful. Smash that like button and um, don't forget to share the video round with your network. That's it for me. Have a very good day and the right travel here. Uh, thank you for watching.